vacation with this different realm and human beings we are not yet our pride does not yet allow us to sit down and to have a research about this everywhere we have this parallel world let's call it this way it's not like that it is all connected but let's let's say like this it, just to be simplistic we have this parallel world there are even in 1857 they are irrefutable uh, uh, of proofs of communication with the spirits done by serious people and we are not yet in 2017 capable capable of accepting this hypothesis let's put it this way let's not be spiritist for a moment this is just an idea there is this idea and other and on top of that there are a lot of people that cannot deny they see spirits they hear spirits they are indifferent in all sort of religion or not a religious person uh, because this this is uh, it doesn't uh, choose any kind of religion but what I see is the our pride it is this disease it's taking away the chance our opportunity to learn about the spiritual world we prefer to say it does not exist this thing does not exist or they say how where did you get this idea from and be really an observer and give a chance to an idea that maybe it's possible maybe it's possible and it doesn't matter how many people have had a, a spiritual experience we still are denying and we are attached to little uh, little how can I say uh, little not creeds but way of thinking it has to be the way that I've been taught it has to be this way so in order to to learn about the spiritual realm we must like learning any kind of science we must be capable of oh maybe there is something bigger than my belly button maybe there is something bigger than me maybe just maybe <laughs> maybe I was the other day I was watching one of those you know those wonderful videos where they show you where you are and the size of the planet and the size of the galaxy and the size of the universe and the size and the size of the size and all the things and I, I am watching the video and I'm talking to myself yes we are the only ones in this all these galaxies because it was the hobo picture of all the galaxies you know saying that the probability probability that the Andromeda is gonna collide with our galaxy in I don't know many billions of years doesn't matter but when I saw this huge <laughs> map of the galaxies just the galaxies I'm like yeah how pride we are to think we are the only in this whole universe J let's just start with this and let alone the idea that there are spirits they are sitting here with us they are listening to us they are getting our emotions and our intentions and then like Kardec goes on further to say that it's the negation of materialistic doctrines which is like he kind of like slides that in at the end but it's like he's saying like a lot without saying very much you know because what like what is a materialistic doctrine and 
um, like I was, I've been studying the gospel, so I just was finishing a chapter of, about um, you cannot serve both God and mammon. <laughs> and I had to look up what mammon means. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like a woolly mammon. <laughs> it was, you know, ma- mammon is like the like the like sort of like a greedy pursuit of riches. Yeah. And they were talking about how um, people like they spend their whole life trying to accumulate wealth. You know, in some cases, and you die and you can't take it with you. <laughs> you know, and, and we have, people always say you can't take it with you. But they say, well, I can leave it to my kids. You know, and, and the chapter addresses that too. But it's still like a materialistic way of looking at things to say that, like, um, to think that this life is all we have and that we have to like make the most out of it mm. in a material sense yeah. instead of trying to make the most out of it in a um, uh, in a non-material sense, in an evolutionary sense, like in in bettering ourselves, improving ourselves, right. becoming right. better people, and that way, like you know, making our eternal life right. <laughs> better. You know, I should kind of agree with what Juan was saying about how he looks at spiritism as a tool, um, a mm. method to mm. spiritism rising and being better, mm. Mm. and I'm. So I keep coming back. I see it that way. It's, it's I don't, not that it's having hope, but it's definitely opened my eyes. And yeah. Happy I found you guys. And it's not <laughs> easy to love to left our our programs behind the way we we've been programmed. But again, this is pride again. Oh no, no, I do, I don't want to leave this idea. Okay. You know, there's so much to learn and we have to at least, in order to start to learn about this spiritual life, we have to first accept that we are spirits, that there is. There's so many proofs out there. There is a book called Violets on a Window. It's in tr- translated to English. The other day I read this book again. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so important. So in this book, this girl, she was Brazilian. She died at the age of 19 with an aneurysm. And, uh, and she died and she recovered really fast. Uh, she was a spiritist. And then she's talking about, uh, to me, what shocked me again, it was the readaptation to the spiritual realm. The readaptation. Like she observed that nobody was eating or going to the restroom and she needed, she needed. She's like, I, I'm, I so want to stop doing those things. We are so, so conditioned to so many things. We are so attached and we think we are not. And I am, I am including myself in this and I think I'm not. Oh no, I'm so detached. Think we... We don't realize that we will have to readapt ourselves as a spirit without a body again. And we are wasting all our, the time in the world just to talk about silly things. And the, the important things, it's laptop. I saw the, the headline today. I mean, it might, not, it might have been from yesterday, but the headline was... Um, Ivanka Trump wearing stiletto heels to the Texas floods, you know, and, oh, really? uh, and this is like the big news, like, you know, oh. I'm like, you know, like, like, I don't really care what kind of shoes yeah. the that, president's wife is wearing. That's what I thought when I read the, uh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the headline, it's like, yeah. why do we have to talk about this? Yeah, yeah, and like, who, exactly. who really it may not be, It may not be appropriate. <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> why? Exactly. People's lives have been yeah. destroyed, or people exactly. who just got rid of their flood insurance they couldn't afford it anymore. And it yeah. It's not the issue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like, I mean, and it's like, because I don't know, like, I don't want to get like into a political discussion, but you know, you have the people on the left and the people on the right, and you know, the people on the right want to support the president, and the people on the left, you know, I'm not saying who's right or who's wrong. You know, I mean, we all know who's wrong, <laughs> but like, to even if you are like on the left side and you disagree with with what our president is doing, like you can't like go that low to to like say that she's making the wrong fashion choices. You but know? this is again to show what is important to uh, the human being. Yeah, this is this what is, is important to us is people's life 
or a little detail of someone. It's Again. a pattern that keeps revolving because it's the same thing when Obama was in office and his wife when she took the trip over to Europe. And she wasn't wearing sleeves, you know, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, she went on a shopping spree over there and that was like the main news. And I'm like, really? Like, yeah. that's, that's, yeah. It just keep, seems to keep happening. We, and as a human race, we do seem to be stuck in this cycle. It, it's almost like there's a universal fascism, like just kind of like trying to keep people down. But all they have to do is open their eyes. And see if the universe is there for us. And, and yeah. you know, like, there's so much news out there, and the only way that they make money on the internet these days is if people click on it. So the fact that that was like the top headline means like people are clicking on this, yeah. and this yeah. is what they want to read about. Um, Embarrassing, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. 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 But uh, you know, there is an old saying so it's like, the people, they're not um, uh, uh, lighting up their own lights. They, try to block people's light so that that's to show that that's what we are doing we human beings we are not looking within and trying to illuminate enlighten ourselves we prefer to see oh his hair his clothes oh look what he's doing his car and his so that's more important than enlighten myself that's tough. Where are we going with this? What do you mean by enlightened? Enlightened, looking for uh, spiritual development, looking for an understanding of life, where we come from, where we're going, what are we doing here in this life, enlightening ourselves, going transcend of what we see with our material eyes. As we see, a woman with uh, high heels that is like this or like that. No, it's someone it's from the government that is going there. It's paying attention to the problem. Is it doing something? I, I like it that person or not. It doesn't really matter. It so doesn't really how matter. How does spiritism enhance our enlightenment? <clears throat> to me, enlightenment is that there is a light inside of me. It's inside of you, it's inside of you, it's probably the same light. But to find that I am, that business that I am, and have it present in my life, this is to be in life. You see, this is what we're doing in the Spiritism, exactly. to me, is investigating about this. How do we enlighten ourselves? And to me, personally, this is helping me to pay attention to what really matters to me instead of uh, getting stuck in little details. So the spiritual uh, progress development to me today it is very very important. I do not forget that I am in, I am in this body that I'm living in this world but I also when I open my eyes every day I know I am an eternal spirit and one day I will leave this body and then what? And then what? And then you'll have to negate your materialistic doctrines. <laughs> you know, yeah, and then, twice. thank you for saying this, because that's yeah. what is going to hurt my adherence, my attachment with my material life. The way I used to see people, this religion is not good, this left is not good, this right is not good. Is this important? I even, it's not I mean, important. I even like, and you might think this is silly, but as I read stuff and I study, I, I mean, I ask questions too, and I start to think like, is, um, am I going to keep my like tattoos on my perispirit? You know, are they going to stay there? Yes. Or are they going to have to be healed? Like, should I get them lasered off before I die? <laughs> no, <laughs> but they're going to be they're there. Have to be lasered off and. <laughs> no. <laughs> And then but, I start yeah. to think, like, what about people that have implants? Like, what kind of effect does that have? Oh, like, it's all I'm, going. I, I'm curious, you know. I mean, I, exactly. I, I don't know if, Me like, too. the enlightened spirit would come, like, tell yeah. us these things. These are, and this is really just, like, curiosity. It's yeah. not, like, yeah. it's not, and it doesn't really matter, like, to me. Yeah. But, but it, it is kind of important because even, you know, we, we see people, like, still trying to do these things. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I start to think, mm -hmm. like, you know, people are like, oh, don't get a tattoo. It's permanent. I'm like, well... You know, it's permanent, like, for the next, you know, 
until we die. <laughs> you know? No, so not know. true. But know. you know, I also think about those. There are uh, the the mediums. They are bringing wonderful book, and they have zero support. Zero support from the society. They are good mediums, and they don't know where to go. They don't have a spiritual schools and this is all the time we are we are wasting fighting for some materialistic ideas and you know i, I think even um spiritualists though like before i found the spirit center like they have a lot of different ideas and so like because there's so many different books and they don't really like there's like in, yeah. in the spiritual world and the metaphysical world mm. i don't think there's any like solid you know i, I don't want to say doctrine but the, like it actually what i'm trying to say is like a set of beliefs mm. you know where because everybody you talk to the spiritual they seem to kind of feel like and, and not that this is bad but they say like well you believe what you believe i believe what i believe you know at least we're not like killing each other i don't see spiritual people like killing each other over their beliefs which is which is this progress you yeah know? but it's also like there's no clearly defined like spiritual beliefs and everybody kind of has their own beliefs and everybody sort of and, and we'll kind of um in the next actually heading kind of talk about that is that um different people believe different things and it's like what kind of bothered me was that i don't want to like say what's right or wrong but i know like somebody's got to be wrong <laughs> You know, like when I, because when I started like becoming spiritual, like from from knowing nothing about spirituality, to starting to learn about it, it's like you meet different people and they all have a different spin. And some, like some people would say things, and I was like, that just doesn't really sound right to me. <laughs> you know, right. like I don't want to like like when like some people would say like, oh, whatever you do is perfect, because it was like planned out before you got here, and you're just doing like what your what your plan was, and this is what you needed to come here to do, and. And um, even if you don't, it doesn't seem right to you now, like it's just perfect. And you just need to accept how perfect it is, right. you know, which is, which kind of goes back to this pantheism, um, mm. like where, where mm. everything is, is, you know, <laughs> and, and I was just like, you know, that I like having free will a lot more <laughs> than, than this idea that like every action I'm taking was planned out before I got here. And, and so just little things like that, like, that um that that every and everybody can like because the, the one guy was saying that like something he did was perfect well what, what was actually happening and this is why like he was acting very selfishly um <laughs> and I, I mean i don't want to get into the details of it but this this guy was <laughs> acting very selfishly but saying that like well this is perfect because it's it was all you know because that, that fits his belief it was very convenient to believe that everything he did was perfect um <laughs> What we need is some enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, it's that light switch. It's the light switch all the way that controls every light in this hallway. Where is that? It's in the uh, room with the um, yard sale and stuff. <laughs> I'll rub it. Yeah. But this is what Steve was saying is very important because when we when we understand about reincarnation and we know that now uh, I was born in Brazil, you were born here, and the next incarnation would be in China, in India, and that's how important it is to be spiritual because and then you you kind of let go this idea of this culture, that religion, we, we have been all, we have been all religions, we, we speak, we have spoken so many languages, so many languages, and then, and there is like, uh, uh, the, the, the scientists that do, they use hypnosis, right, they, like, I remember this story, Brian Weiss saying that, this lady come from China with a translator to do her her hypnosis with him and all of with a translator because she couldn't speak one single word in English 
and deep into the hypnosis session this lady starts to speak a perfect British English perfect and then the translator was really mad at her said she lied to me <laughs> she lied to me and then the, the guy said Bray Wyatt said I'll explain later but she, she didn't lie she didn't lie but anyways but we've been all in this on so many things that the spiritualism can help us and this is one of the most important things so we understand each other in a in a more like loving caring way when we understand that we have all the United Nations <laughs> within us nationalities religions and understanding that if we haven't been in that country chances are that we will be and the spirit says that the those that we pick those that we have more like more irritated or we just dis dislike them the chance that we will be attracted just because the energy that we will be attracted to that country I wonder how many stamps I have in my spiritual passport I <laughs> Yeah, and, um, soul passport, I like that. <laughs> um, but, <coughs> I kind of got off track, so, um, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So, I'm sorry, I kind of like lost my place here. No, what you were saying reminded me something. I want to ask you guys if you heard of the um, when you were saying talking about intolerance that we are different. This religion, that religion. There is something causing a frenzy in the internet. I was talking about today in the meditation, which is the doomsday. There is a new doomsday. Is the September twenty third this year oh, okay, good. good so but here's the thing I wanted to pay my credit card bill uh, this one is very <laughs> this this one is very very interesting because the alignment of the planets they were not as such for 7,000 years okay. and 7,000 and um, and the, in a, a, the book of uh, Apocalypse there is a part that has way too many coincidences with the position of the planets in the sky and the reason why I'm saying this what's, what's this book of Apocalypse? what is that from? John the oh. evangelist the when evangelist. he went to Greece he had visions and he... The revelations, what we call it? The revelations, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the revelations. And uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because there is a frenzy by Christians and the internet saying this is, it's going to be rapture. What are they going to do to stop it? It's going to be rapture and they are very happy and excited about it. And while I was listening to a few uh, opinions about this, and uh, I was thinking, how can you be excited and happy that you are going to be the chosen one, and those that don't I'm believe in you, what you don't believe, are going to be left out? How can you be happy about this? It just made me think. And with the spiritualism in our lives, you're not going to think like that. It sounds like yeah. pride. This is a yeah. medieval yeah. kind of thinking. Tiny little thinking. I'm more special than you because I know something that you don't. Or because I say three words, I accept Jesus. And I am the chosen one. So, 
I just and if I say like, well, if they do get raptured, you know, then just as bad. Just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Mindful of how we think. Yeah. No. But yeah, it's it's never it's not our beliefs that make us better people. I mean, that's that's obvious, you know. But we, it goes without it goes without saying. But yeah. it's it's what we do, you know. Even even the Chinese, like, they talk about karma, and people have a sort of miscued idea of what karma really is. But the word karma actually translates to deeds. So mm. it's it's what you do, and, and we talk about action and reaction, you know. So that's really like the main thing that we're getting at is like do good deeds and good things will happen to you. You, know? you, you were saying before that somebody's got to be wrong, uh, but really, I'm not sure. Uh, meaning, meaning that. Um, there's many different ways of achieving inner transformation and, and mm -hmm. it, exactly and you know the, the details it might be one or the other it doesn't really matter I mean yeah. many of those paths uh, saying very different things yeah. uh, are helping people to work towards the same goal which is in transformation yeah. um, and I do like spiritism for that sure. uh, imagine so if in one incarnation the, the person was Hitler and this incarnation the next one the following one is one of the white supremacists protesting that's that's a pretty good kind of that's doing pretty good I thought that definition of karma would be Hitler being reincarnated as like a new llama or... <laughs> well, nature won't, won't leap like this high because it's, he, it's a gradual... I mean, if you look at spiritism, it's the value of it. I mean, his, he's a soul too, correct? I mean, he is. I'm not, he is. I'm not supporting this man in any way. Just put that disclaimer out there now. Because, no, he's yeah, a spirit. He is. But and he is worthy of happiness, just like you and I. And he will. He will enlighten himself. It's not made different. We are not made different from as as Mother Teresa or Martin Luther King. They were spirits. We are spirits. It's all spirits. I always, I always like to look at like the most extreme examples of things though because when we talk about that I, my mind always goes there like what's what's happening to that guy like that's got to weigh on his conscience like quite a bit you know right like I, I, I wonder a lot of times you know I'm, well I'm sure I guess he gets probably... special I guess he gets special attention like someone that can that that is has this unconditional love going on here to meet him to see him as someone that is in need of love not someone that can judge because he put me there oh, but this mission is already <laughs> yeah. fail. it's a total failure I can't even survive Pompano Beach you know, without right? <laughs> no. right? I'm not there yet <laughs> oh my gosh Steve don't worry about it I assure you <laughs> I assure you <laughs> um, so let's let's can continue on. Um, Where are you now? Twenty one. Okay. More or less normal idea held by persons who are not familiar with spiritism is the belief that spirits must know all things and possess mm. supreme wisdom simply because they are free of matter. This is a serious mistake. Mm. So this has come up. We probably don't even need to talk about it because if you like watch our episodes for the last six months, we talked about it like every week for a while, you know, because right. we kept bringing it up. But let me bring something up. Let me Let's ask talk you about this. It again. Let, let me ask you and this. We'll never have to talk about this. I ju again. just want to, because I still hear a lot of people saying, what about a kid? What do you think? Do you mean as a, a kid that is, uh, that died and. Maybe never did anything wrong. I mean, sometimes I, mean, I, I had a teacher in high school that like wrote a little paper, shared it with us about how he had a, a son that only lived for like twenty four hours or something like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. In this case, so people would say, like, a lot of people would say, "Oh, of course they go right to heaven." It's an angel. Yeah, it's an angel. They just, just you know. Yeah. It's because they never sin. They never, you know. Yeah. But. <laughs> so, were you? 
So you guys still think that this is a a spirit? The child that passed from this existence? Yeah. Oh. Never did anything wrong. I'm not sure if karma plays in that, but I think um I used to think like that, that the kids were angels. I used to. I've heard people debate about that, like, you know, say you take a tribe from South America or Africa, someone who's had no exposure, their their social structure has no exposure to any other type of religion or outside. Like some savages, like from Manaus. Or those. Or from Papa Beach. <laughs> <laughs> There's you, this. They don't. Have to. <laughs> it was funny, but not nice. <laughs> um, I grew up here. Can't help it. I'm trying. I'm trying to be brighter or better. But those uh, children that go, like, per like Christianity, they'll say that, well, that child's not going to go to heaven because they haven't witnessed. They have not been saved. Oh yeah. And there's that argument. Or they yes. have been baptized. Correct. Sir, yeah, I mean, like maybe uh, Catholics might say that. Oh, yeah. So, but not 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 all no, no. branches of Christianity. You know, right. Yeah. yeah I mean, the use, the like, Mormons they have they I've been I visited once a church and the Mormon that he told me that they have a secret ritual of uh, they baptize. That's why they go in the whole world. Uh, um, Christ. getting getting uh, names of the family and they bring to this secret ritual and they baptize because I asked him because they said no only baptized people will be saved I said I'm from Amazon I'm from the jungle I said what about those tribes that are in the Amazon they're not gonna be saved oh no, don't worry about them we make a secret ritual and we baptize them and they are going to be okay. Said, good. Thank you. So that's why they send those missionaries, elders, they say, no? right? And they they go to people's house all over the world. Some people say they are they are uh, not FBI but CIA uh, <laughs> spies because they get the whole. They've been to my house. They want to know how many TVs you have, how many bedrooms, how many this, how many that, with your name, and this, anyways. And now you're saved. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you. And I never thought about that. I need to be saved to, to so, so them. With back to what you're saying with the child that passes from this existence, and do they go straight to heaven? Are they, are they a spirit and they're part of that spiritual society? I don't think it goes straight to heaven. I think it's part of it that goes to ties to our soul contract, where you have to experience certain things and you have to experience existences and different influences in life before you can ascend. <coughs> um, I'm not really sure exactly what heaven is. Like as far as when you, I don't believe that when you die you just go straight to heaven or hell. Um, I think it's you kind of get chalked up into. I'm not sure if this is where you're going with, with the child dying. Or if I'm so. I didn't really bring it up. She brought it up. So. No, I, mean, I, I usually <laughs> bring that. I like to talk because I still hear people say, "No, kids, no, kids are different. Kids, when they die, they're angels. That's why." I think so. It doesn't matter whether you're, you die as a kid or an adult. I think it's still the same spirit, whatever spirit is, and what level of ascension they're at doesn't necessarily mean if you're as a child and you haven't committed sin in this existence that you're just going to go straight to heaven or hell. Exactly. We just make a big deal of this existence. Well, and, like if it was the only And because of like the, the dogma, like we want to believe, you know, if, if we're raised with dogma and you know, we have the conditioning to believe that, yeah, we only have a one lifetime, mm. to think that like a child would be born and like would have mm. no chance, you know, um, and go to hell, like to this mm. fiery inferno. Like you don't want to believe that. So if if like your church is telling you that your child is going to go to like you're not, you're just going to leave that church, you know. Mm. So they have to do better yeah. marketing, you know. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> but um, okay. maybe the child.
child didn't have any karma that he has to uh, settle. He had no debts. Didn't have to go through the suffering of this life. Why would they come to Earth then? Hmm? Why would they come to Earth? Well, the planet of expiation. For just that little bit of uh, that they had to be completed, I suppose. And the reason would be. And the reason would be, why? Does they have to uh, pay his debts? He had no debts. Had no debts? He had no debts. So the child, you see what I'm saying? The, so the child has no debts. No. So he, he, he completed his, uh, his uh, what had to be done here, that's all. And then? And he's gone. So I, 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 I say I believe things, okay? But I don't <laughs> believe in beliefs because beliefs change, okay? I'm uh -huh. not stuck in my beliefs. Right. What I experience, though, that doesn't change. I see. See, sometimes beliefs lead to experiences, but the uh, but they're different. You can you can believe something, and then you can really believe it. Oh, uh -huh. I really believe that. Oh, now I have faith in that. You know, uh -huh. you know, the experience is beyond that. What if this is not a belief? What if this is experience of many, many, many spirits? Say again. What if this is not a belief? What if this is a experience of many spirits? You mean like I, I said, like here, is it the, you said yeah. this is a belief, and I go with the experience. There's belief. There's there's truth. No, okay, talking. I believe it. That doesn't make it true. Right. Right. Okay. Truth is truth. No, I'm talking about the child. Mm -hmm that came here but had no debt yes if he, if he had um no debt or very little and just uh, just see it, it is need to, to, to die or whatever he had to suffer here he so he got rid of it and i mean not well, say be just about that child here maybe for the parents to you know like part of that soul contract and part of that learning is to ascend i mean there, you can believe that but i believe that Right. But it isn't to no, say I, 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 see. I, I, I But I don't have that experience then. Right. But I'm just trying to use my reason. If the spirit that came as a kid had no debt, what is the reason for the kid to come? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Now, people ask me, well, you know, do you believe in Jesus? And I say to them, no, I don't believe in Jesus. I experienced Jesus. I experienced that, that that ascended spirit. It's inside of me. I experienced that. You can't argue with me about mm -hmm. that. That I know is the truth. Right. I experience it. Right. Could okay, be I there is a. That. Could it be that there is a uh, yeah, that Holy Spirit? I, I experienced that every right. day of my life. You know, I just want to experience it. Right. More more. Right. Yeah. What we are saying here. What we are saying here is a result not of beliefs. This is not a result of a belief. This is a result of experience of the spirits Precisely. that have reported okay. to almost a 1,000 spirit, spiritual centers. Right. And the reason why we are saying that the spirit does not change just because he went to the spirit realm. I can believe that. And if the spirit that comes here always has something to do, uh, there are no in, on earth, there is nothing, absolutely nothing in nature that has no meaning, no goal. For a spirit to come here without nothing to do, without a goal, the spirits, they say, not possible. Because it's a too precious opportunity for the spirit to incarnate. You believe that? And also, and also there is a whole uh, work that is done by uh, 
engineers in the spiritual realm for us to incarnate in this body. Well, you believe that. Here's the thing. You believe that. I believe based on this research because it makes sense to me. I do not believe with my eye closed just because it sounds beautiful. I believe. No, 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 no. I believe because I have compared, I have used my reason, and my reason and coherence say this makes sense. What it does not make sense to me is that a spirit come and uses a body where is a very precious thing, very, very precious. We still don't have an idea how precious is this experience of being incarnated in the body. Just like a kid that lives in a house and doesn't know how much is the electricity, the PG&E, doesn't know how much does the food cost and the work that we go through to prepare the food, we are this kid. We are in this body, we have no idea how precious is this incarnation. If we knew, we wouldn't be doing so many bad things, right Steve? Anyways, so... I still do. The reason, based on this research, shows, but in order for us to realize that there is a reason behind, we gotta, we gotta put our eyes on this work. We gotta observe, and we gotta understand not only reading but running our own research so there is a reason for all the spirits that come to this earth that's what the spirits are telling us and that not only spiritism but different spiritualism uh, works also as well otherwise it would be a waste of life a waste of a body to incarnate in a, in a little body, come, do nothing, have no, nothing to do here, and then go. That, it shows to me that God doesn't know what it, it is doing. Yeah, you the, don't necessarily know if that spirit in that the child's body didn't have a purpose. I mean, I don't think that anything like that happens for no reason at all. I think, you know, for whatever reason, whether it was, you know, as a light worker or even as a spiritist and you, we're kind of like lightning rods, we, we're broadcasting even when we don't even realize it, we're receiving when we yeah. don't even realize it. So oh, a yeah. child that dies young, even if it seems like a complete waste and it's painful and I can't even imagine, I've, yeah. you know, what that's like. But it's not. I don't think that it's a waste. Yeah. You know, for whatever is going on, mm, mm, you know, mm. we can't understand omnipotence. Spiritism, I think, can help bring us a little closer to maybe understanding divine plans. In science, too, together they show to us like it's a opening. A mind, uh, eyes opening for for this experience of life itself. There, there are layers and layers of understanding of our lives, and <clears throat> yeah. You know, I, I had a friend who uh, passed away uh, eight years ago, and uh, he was probably in his early fifties or mid fifties at the time, and he had just completed an associate's degree at Palm Beach State College, I think. Um, and it was like a really big deal for him because he went through his whole life like feeling like he wasn't worth anything. And he finally like went back to school and he had to like work really hard. <laughs> you know, like the longer we stay out of school, the harder it is to go back. It, it's tough, you know. I, I stayed away for 10 years and went back and, and then it was like, oh my God. It's like, so to be away for like 30 years or whatever it was, like, and go back, he had to work really hard. And he died like a few months later after getting his degree. And at the time, I thought like, man, what a waste. <laughs> you know, like, spent all that time in school, got his degree, and then he dies. And it's like, like he could have been, like, you know, living it up and making the most out of the life, you know. But that's, that's our empathy. 
but and then but to look at it now like through other eyes to say like with the law of progress he keeps that knowledge for the next life yeah so he's probably going to come back and he's going to have a step ahead like he's not going to have to work so hard to learn in the next like i would i would imagine you know you don't know for sure but he you know he would he'll have that progress mm. under his belt when he comes mm. back you know and so at the time too mm. even at the time i thought like well oh, it's not a waste because he he wanted that's what he wanted to do and he did it and then he accomplished it you know mm. but even now i, I say like like now I, I realize like he's going to keep like his progress that he made mm -hmm. in the life you know but, that's um, why there are a lot of spiritists age of 80 70 i went to university with a guy who was 70 something he was a spiritist he was starting university not his first university, but there are a lot of people going to university and, and when they, they get the knowledge of the spiritual life, they go like, nothing stops, so why shall, shall <laughs> yeah. I stop? Just keep going, keep learning, keep learning, keep going. So we, we've gone over our time um, for, for this. I mean, we started late, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I just want to kind of take a minute and, and end our discussion on what is spiritism and then um, we'll say goodbye to the people on Facebook and just so you know next week we'll be back here I, th I think we'll be back next week cause I know we're, we're having a, a special guest um, next Wednesday uh, Sergio is coming so wh where, where did But we'll be back here next Tuesday. I know Monday's Labor Day, that's why I'm saying. Um, so, I, so I don't know if maybe in two weeks if it's going to affect us at all. Because he's going to be giving another lecture or something on that Tuesday. Um, so we'll let everybody know. But otherwise, we'll be back here. <laughs> we can't talk about what his spirit is on. Um, so, so yeah, we'll just we'll just end for now and then say good night to everybody on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>